Hello there Apps by viewers, my name's Peter and I've got a hands-on video for you. This time it is with Rival Kingdoms Age of Ruin by Space Ape Games. This game's not globally launched yet, it is currently only available in New Zealand. It's been in soft launch for a little while now, uh, and I thought I'd bring you an early look at the game. Um, it's pretty neat. Uh, so you'll see that it's got a pretty nice, sort of pseudo-realistic fantasy look to it. All sort of villagers with cloth tunics on and so forth. You'll see they're wandering about in 3D. She's just wand wandered through a wall. Apparently my uh, my town is just filled with ghosts. I'm picking up this gold here. Um, so gold is your primary resource for upgrading your buildings and so forth. You'll see it in the top right hand corner. I've got 170 because I've just set this thing in motion. You can upgrade your buildings and you can upgrade your walls and you can do all of that good stuff. Um, gold is your main thing. Now, you also need rings sometimes, so to upgrade my stronghold to level 4 I'll need 3,000 gold, that's not too much of an issue, and 10 rings. That is a bit of an issue, because you can't really produce those. So how do you get them? Well, let me tell you. You go into battle. So this is the multiplayer uh, campaign area, I think there's also some, uh, some sort of single player stuff, I'm not really interested in the single player stuff at the moment, although I do quite enjoy it. Um, there we are. So let's go into the multiplayer. We're going to find ourselves a match. You see the lovely sort of painterly art. I'm coming up against Pnoy Assassin. So uh, uh, watch out, Pnoy Assassin. And I'll show you why Rival Kingdoms is kind of interesting. And, you know, we, we see a lot of these kinds of games, uh, these kinds of strategy management games. But this one, we only ever really want to cover the ones that are slightly different, slightly kind of unique and uh, and I'll show you why. So I can drag troops and spells into the screen to use them to battle. Um, so let's first of all uh, bring our archers over here. This is where they're going to land and uh, we're going to destroy this. Now you, you would have seen that there were blue sort of pearls above them and you'll notice that they've flown into my little meter there. Now this is useful because this little meter allows me to tap and hold on this. These are like my spells, effectively, and it sort of slows time down a little bit, and then I can say, right, fire it there. Boom. And it builds up every single time that I'm destroying these buildings and so forth. So I'm putting that there. They're going to try and attack them. Oh dear, we're getting absolutely walloped now. So I'm going to try and put some more damage in there as well. Okay, I think we've just got rid of that. So we may, may be able to may be able to complete this this stage, hopefully. My archers are doing the, their absolute best over here, and uh, we've nearly got a bit more. I think we'll destroy the town hall. I think we will destroy the town hall. Obviously, you are timed as usual. Those archers are going to get absolutely obliterated by those defences when they go over there, but luckily we'll have destroyed the town hall by that point. Bo boom And now I'm going to bring in my super, super level, because I've destroyed that town centre, I've got an extra load of magic, and I've brought in a fiery demon. <laughs> You can change which kinds of um, kinds of magic you have access to. I believe they're called guardians or ancients or something along those lines. Um, you know that, and which ones you bring in will change what kind of spells and bonuses and so forth are attributed with those. You can also speed up the battles by just ha ha uh, tapping and holding this button. And there we are. And they're, now they're happy. They're very happy because this little unit managed to survive somehow. Epic victory. Win streak five. So I've actually managed to get five wins in a row without completely dying. I've got two rings. And I'll be using those, obviously, to uh, well to add to my pile and to hopefully upgrade my uh, home base at some point. Now, let's go back to our home. And, uh, you know, very quick load times throughout all of this. I think that these kinds of strategy management games, they need that kind of fast load times, even though it is quite a handsome looking game. Let's claim that. Okay. And uh, exit out of that. There we are. And uh, so, you know, what can I do? Well, I can wait and, you know, or I could spend some diamonds or whatever to upgrade some of these things faster, or I can just go straight back into battle. Now, you might be thinking, well, hold on a second, you don't have any troops left because most of them got completely decimated by that absolutely terrible run just then. Um, well, you, you know, yes, you're, you're absolutely right. They did get absolutely destroyed, but now they're immediately back. That is is how Rival Kingdoms is really distinguishing itself. It really, really wants you to, um, to, to just keep battling, keep competing, keep doing different stuff. Um, because you have essentially portals. You don't train troops. They kind of just come through this portal thing. Um, so let's bring these in. I'm going to bring all of my units into one space now. And then hopefully we'll destroy that. And I'll show you 
what some of this other magic looks like. Hopefully. Oh, it's building up. It's building up. There we go. So let's bring in a lightning bolt. So as you can see, it's a different kind of different kind of thing. It does a lot more damage, but to a very specific area. And obviously I decided to waste it on a gold mine, because uh, I, that is my want. But yeah, getting into battles, going into battles, um, having troops to fight new battles and to keep competing with people. It's so much faster in Rival Kingdoms. And I think if you're, if you're the sort of person who's like, PvP is absolutely everything about what I'm about, then, there we go. Oh, oh, that blew up a very small thing. Brilliant. Um, I think that Rival Kingdoms is 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 going to scratch an itch for you. You know, it's much more immediate. It's much quicker. You can just keep playing. The only thing you really need to be waiting for is your buildings to upgrade. Um, so I think that that's kind of neat. So that is Rival Kingdoms: Age of Ruin. It's in soft launch. It is from Space Ape Games, and uh, I think that it's got a chance. It's got a real chance uh, when it comes out in global launch at some point, probably in 2015, I should hope so. I should hope in 2015. Ooh, more rings. Fantastic. Let me know if you're playing this already in the comments, and uh, if you're not, uh, is, is having more access to quicker battles and, you know, more fighting and competing, is that something that will bring you, uh, will make you change your strategy management game of choice, or are you stuck on one of the other uh, bigger games like your, you know, your typically Clash of Clans and so forth? Do let me know in the comments. This video was brought to you by AppSpy in association with Trivia Crack. If you'd like to enter our Trivia Crack competition to win iTunes vouchers, copies of the game, and more, click the link in the description below. Thanks for watching. Best of luck.